Hello everyone, I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney, and tonight I'm here to talk to you about the video game Dunkey situation. You may remember a few days ago, Dunkey put out a rather excellent video about Super Mario Odyssey. And you may also remember that I was complaining about not being able to put out one of my own without having to be part of the Nintendo Creators Program. Well, guess who wasn't part of the Nintendo Creators Program? And this is what happens. Nintendo copyright claims his video. Nintendo will take revenue or, or not, uh, depending upon how they want. Uh, they may monetize the video or not. But either way, Donkey doesn't get any more money. And uh, unfortunately, his uh, all that work that he put into that rather excellent video doesn't get to really be monetized in any way. Now, what went wrong here? And what uh, should you know about it is, is what this video is about here. You may remember that I've done a video or two on the Nintendo Creators Program and how it doesn't seem to recognize fair use in any way. Well, here is a case where a lot of people may be saying, but video game donkey's use is a fair use. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say maybe it's not. He's definitely doing comedy. And there's definitely some criticism in there, and there's lots of commentary. But he is more or less using video gameplay as a backer track, as a background video for his commentary. And his criticism and commentary don't seem to be synchronized to the to what's on the screen in all cases. Of course, sometimes the comedy is linked and things like that. So, assuming some things, that Dunkey is not part of the Nintendo Creators Program and didn't otherwise have permission to upload the video, etc., etc., we would need to go on to a fair use analysis, which I'm sure followers of this channel will be somewhat familiar with the four factors of the test. So first, let's start with the second factor, the nature of the work. These are commercial works. The underlying work is a creative work of fiction. It's a video game. And Donkey's work is also of a commercial nature if it's being monetized. Uh, then I'll move on to the first factor, the purpose and character of the use. In this case, it's kind of comedy, uh, I would say it reaches a level of transformation where it's a bit of a new work. Um, it's, it's not creating, it's, it's not showing the Nintendo game, it is making comedic and criticism and, and commentary uh, on top of the, uh, the original work. So I would say that the first factor is that it is transformative. The fourth factor, the effect of the use on the market or potential market for the original work, I don't think this affects Nintendo's market much at all, and except actually it help, I think it actually improves their market. I, the question isn't whether it improves or, or, dis, or, 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 or hurts their market. The question is whether it affects the market. And I, I really don't think it has much of an effect on the market. If, if anything, this probably goes a little bit against Donkey, but not very much. And I wouldn't think that this would be the fair use factor that really, that really killed anything. The, the only, the two factors that I'm worried about most here are the nature of the work. It's a commercial, fictional work. It's a creative work. That he has that he has used and he has used more than necessary it says the amount and substantiality of the portion used in relation to the work as a whole and we know from previous analyses that this means using the minimal amount that you need to make your commentary or criticism or news reporting point and instead donkey seems to be using it as a video backer track for his comedy for a setup for his comedy and criticism and to a point that's fine but i think it goes just a tiny bit too far and it's not a fair use so uh, we could disagree on this one and i bet you there's going to be lots of disagreement on this one but it does appear to me that donkey's video on super mario odyssey is not a fair use and he would have needed to get permission from the nintendo creators program to release that video so, sorry, Dunkey, and sorry, guys, uh, that one doesn't play out the way a lot of people want it to. But, uh, 
Uh, now at least we understand a little bit more about fair use and the Nintendo Creators Program. So what do you do? Well, join the Nintendo Creators Program, let them monetize part of your video, or be prepared to take them to court and, and make sure that going to court is going to work out in your favor by having done that fair use analysis and all of your other homework that we don't always talk about here because you just can't talk about everything. You got you to gotta have done all of that, and you can see why it might just be easier to let Nintendo get away with it and not fight it, especially in a case where, like Donkeys, it might not be the best case to make the first fair use fight argument thing case against Nintendo. So please let me know what you think in the comments below or on Twitter or on my Discord or via email or via YouTube Messenger. There's a whole bunch whole bunch of ways. There's a whole bunch of ways to get a hold of me these days. The trouble is getting a reply sometimes because there are 85,000 of you and uh, and I am trying to do as much as I can. So please be patient with me. I do try to get to uh, as many messages as I can. Also, thank you very much for all of my Patreon supporters. You are what's getting me through the YouTube adpocalypse. I am still testing things and will be messing around with releases of these videos, but this one I think will be released normally and we'll see what happens with demonetization as well. I would like to thank my November Patreon sponsors, not the least of which is AVE, Mr. Arduino E who has sponsored a video on the Milwaukee versus uh, oof, it was Milwaukee versus Snap-on tool company about the lithium-ion batteries that Milwaukee claims to have had the patent on. They won that case and got a $28 million judgment, and I think Mr. AVE would like to know why. So uh, thanks to him. Thank you also to John Steele, Weston Loney, Nate Beck, Lydia Collinson, and Gavin Barnard. You are sponsoring my channel at the $50 level for November. I really appreciate that. Thank you. And there are a whole bunch of you in the description and scrolling on the panel below, uh, behind me that are supporting at the $5 level, and I appreciate that as well. And there are also a number of you who are supporting at the $1 plus level who do not wish to be recognized, and, uh, and those people I also am very grateful to. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, let's continue the conversation from here, and I'll see you in my next video. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. There we go. Uh, have a great evening and a great day and a great weekend.